Yes, online student, Bismillah Can you hear me? Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So today, today, it is our third lecture and the last lecture of this series. So in past lecture, we discuss what is animal, what is difference between laboratory animal and wild animal, what is the difference between a small laboratory animal and large laboratory animal, what is the advantage of use a small laboratory animal, what is the basic difference between mice and rat, mice is mostly used, why mice is mostly used. So, how to take care of the animal? And yesterday we discussed how to develop metabolic disease, especially diabetes. So, in diabetes, now it is very epidemic. So, all over the world, 10% adult population is suffering from diabetes, and additional 10% are impaired glucose regulation. Sometimes this impaired glucose regulation is called pre-diabetes. This pre-diabetes is a golden period of type. This is the time, this is the time. It depends on you. If you managed it, if you managed it in a good way, right way, it will be normal. If you don't manage it, it will be, you will be converted to diabetes. And if you managed in moderate one, then you'll be in remaining pre-diabetes. But mostly there is a prone to diabetes. There are many factors, many factors that are written in the books, but many factors are not written in the books, especially it depends on country to country. So organization, modernization, McDonaldization, Coca-Colaization, late night eating, late night sitting, eh? late night sleeping, less of sleeping, television therapy, eh? television therapy means lot of television watching, it's another causes. Okay. Smoking, okay. genetic factor is there, but this, this may aggravate the situation. And okay, it diabetes start not initially, sometimes we call in during the undernutrition, malnutrition, it's another causative factor. Okay. So there are many factors, some many things we know, some genetic factors we know, some genes we know, some many things we still not know. Today morning, one of my uh, our student uh, during breakfast told me there is no breakthrough drug for the diabetes. Okay, why? So as I told you, it is many things. It is multifactorial disease. If only one factor, you can minimize it. You can target it. You can cure it. If it is multifactorial, okay. If it is multifactorial, how many factors you minimize? One, two, three, four, maximum five, six, seven, eight. So it is sometimes very difficult to manage all. Therefore. Day by day, once diabetes, always diabetes. Remember this thing. So it is your duty. Once if you have some asset, if you have some asset, normally asset, it is goes to your son or daughter. Okay, they can use it, they can destroy it. Okay, depending on this. But if you have diabetes, there is chance to transmitting this disease to your son or daughter. So he will give giving some bad thing. Okay. And once it transmitted, it will be there's a train. Eh? 
So therefore, please take care, good care, good health, good food, good mood, healthy lifestyle to prevent the diabetes, to prevent the diabetes, or if you have diabetes in your family, learn how to manage diabetes, how diabetes is manageable, not curable, but to manage it. If you can, the good news is that, so the diabetic patients, diabetic patients live longer than the normal patients. Because once the diabetic, they're very serious, they're very, they control the time, they, they can manage time management, they can, they are in a discipline in life. Okay, discipline make them. So today, we'll discuss, yesterday we discussed how to develop insulin resistance model, how to develop obesity model, and how to develop obese type 2 diabetes model. Today, we'll discuss the how to develop non-obese type 2 diabetic models. How to develop diabetic completion models. So one of the complication is the diabetic amount of these many complications will study diabetic nephropathy. And at the end of this course, and those are attending uh, physically and attended uh, classes for the almost all of the three days. So at 1 p.m. we'll organize, we'll arrange the certificate uh, closing ceremony and we'll get the certificate. With this few few words, as I told you yesterday, this is yesterday's slide, gene is there. One is gene, okay, environment and behavior, lifestyle. So this is the case, malnutrition and overnutrition. Overnutrition causes obesity or malnutrition causes malnutrition, undernutrition. Both do both of the causes, okay. In case of poor people, in case of poor people, those are less than 20, there's 60 percent diabetes. In the rich people, those are 25 plus, the maximum diabetes. The rich people develop diabetes due to obesity, poor people should develop diabetes due to malnutrition. Okay. Now, the normally the obese people, it's differences. If some BMI is more than 25, they're obese. Okay. If obese people, if obese people, as it showed yesterday, there are a lot of insulin, but insulin is not effective or active. I am giving example. So in the security guard, eh, in the bank or when your security guard is there, pistol is there, bullet is there, but sometimes if robber came, if robber came, if he can defense him, then it's active. But sometimes many times security guard is there with him or her, with him, some gun is there, but it is not effective, not active. Okay. So many things is present, but not effective. So this is called insulin. Insulin is there, not active, not effective insulin, called insulin resistance. And obvious people. And non obvious people, insulin, the beta cell size is less. If so, eyelid is mass less, pancreas less, less insulin. We call it less insulin secretion diabetes. So there is a debate. Even the obese people initially they secret in, initially lots of insulin. So after some, sometimes, so after sometimes when the maximum insulin secretion done, the cell will be exhausted. Then the insulin secretion will be down. So uh -huh. insulin, insulin. Resistance initially insulin resistance, then in insulin secretion deficiency. But in case of non this non obese people, so it may or may not be true. It may be insulin secretion, but out of these, one is insulin secretion deficiency, another is insulin resistance. Out of these two, who is one play major role? It's the eh, as I told you, beta cell dysfunction or insulin resistance. Who is defect primary? It's issue, diabetic issue, like. Eh? Egg versus chicken, egg versus chicken. There is still debate. Egg first, egg or first chicken, chicken versus egg. Eh? So still debate will be continue. It will be continue. It will be claim, counter claim, claim, counter claim. There is no conclusion. <laughs> so same is true. Beta cell dysfunction and insulin resistance. So who is defect? Who is defect come first? But whose defect is predominant? It's still a debated issue. There are claims, counter claims. However, with this, see, this is our own study. 
characterization of insulin rate secretion in type 2 diabetic subjects. It is me, son of my colleague, okay, for him. So, non obese type 2 diabetic subject patients in Bangladesh have insulin secretory dysfunction. We found those are non obese subjects. We found in type 2 diabetes, insulin secretion dysfunction. This is an, another paper of my colleagues. Okay. Both insulin secretion dysfunction and insulin resistance are present in Bangladeshi type 2 diabetic subjects, but insulin dysfunction seems to be predominant. Okay, it's so own study. Okay, this is my one of my paper. It is in, uh, it is in, in the interest of diabetes, but it is in case of pre-diabetes. Pre-diabetes, insulin secretion and sensitivity. We also found in pre-diabetes the insulin secretion, the dollar, the, 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 uh, those people are non-obese, insulin secretion deficiency is the predominant. Again, so in their relatives, in their siblings, we found the insulin secretion deficiency it come fast. Okay, so and there's a paper, the ACLA, B, A, B, C, and this allelic frequencies. We found the population of Bangladesh and population of there is a sequence similarity. So here, insulin secretion deficiency we found in our own study that insulin secretion deficiency in non-obic subject is predominant. So this is the study promoting research for better diabetes care in Asia. What about in North Bangladesh in Asia? They studied in different parts in Japan, Korea, and other parts, and they make a declaration that means declaration means in Asia, in Asian diabetic subjects, Asian diabetic subjects, insulin secretion deficiency come first. Okay, insulin secretion. See, Asian subjects without obesity are having insulin secretion dysfunction. This is the character feature of Asian subject. This differ from the Western population. So, the Asian subject without obesity having insulin secretion dysfunction. So, this is the this is the character feature of Asian diabetic subject. So, keeping this in mind, what we try to do, we try to develop an animal model that resembles this one. Non-obese, non-obese type 2 diabetes. So, they told you. So, how we did it? So, this, this uh, without obesity, insulin secretory dysfunction, we try to develop a model that resembles this one. So, there is two chemicals. One is alexane, another is Alexane and estrotazadosine. Okay, estrotazadosine half life. I told you it's only 15 to 30 minutes. Okay, so what we do if you give estrotazadosine, it can it destroy the beta cell. It destroy the beta cell. It can make it, this uh, the same chemical. This by using the same chemical, we can make type one diabetes. We can make type two diabetes, and we can make obese type two diabetes, and we can make non obese type two diabetes. Depending on the different dose, different combination, same chemical, it makes different model. It can make type 1 diabetes in adult death and type 2 diabetes in funeral study. Let's see here. This is the glucose molecule and this is the streptozoidocin molecule due to the similar sequence, due to the similarity of sequences, sorry, similarity of structure, it goes to the beta cell bind to the group to receptor, go inside the cell, destroy the, bind to the DNA, make the fragmented DNA, cell destroyed. No beta cell. This cell is destroyed. There is no insulin. Okay, if there is no insulin, what happens? If no insulin, blood glucose will be glucose. Right? Glucose is stimulative insulin secretion. So if cell is destroyed, beta cell destroyed, no insulin. If there is no insulin, insulin stimulated glucose uptake, glucose uptake inside the cell will be disturbed. Thank you, sir. Thank you. If glucose up, uptake will be disturbed, then glucose will be go to the glucose will be the more in blood. Therefore, blood glucose increasing, increasing, and increasing. Now, this is the key point. Remember, check very carefully, very carefully. 
this is the two day old pups. Okay. Normally in two day old pups, their weight is 70 gram. I'm sorry, seven gram. Okay. Seven gram. So how we make the road, how we make the structure solution? It is very important. For adult rat, say for adult rat, dose is 65 milligram. This 65 milligram, if you give the 65 milligram, it can destroy the, all the beta cell in adult rat, it can make type 1 diabetes, right? And if you give this and 100 and 90 to 100 milligram, 60 milligram, 65 milligram in adult rat, it can destroy all the cells. Almost all, but even higher dose, okay, 65 is 100, almost 1.5 fold higher dose in two day old pups. Okay, this scenario is different. It makes type two diabetes. This is type two, this is type one. Okay. So now, so we make a simple calculation. We make a formula, we make a formula in such way that so you make your life very easier. Sit here, normally it's 65 milligram per kg body weight, right? That means 65 milligram per kg means 100 gram rat, right? So in this 65 milligram streptozotocin, we dissolve in one ml buffer. Then this now all the streptozotocin one ml, it is 100 gram rat, 1000 gram rat, 1 ml means thousands microliter, thousand microliters, thousand gram rat. It makes your life very clear. One microliter per one gram rat. It makes all life very easier. So if we know the weight of the rat, either it's 200, 300, 289, 38, any weight, what is the weight of the rat? That must volume will give injection or make this, this makes all life very easier. So if we either the 65 milligram, 45 milligram, or 35 milligram, doesn't matter. We'll dissolve in one ml. If we make one ml in adult rate, what is the body weight? If that's amount of injection. It makes your life very easy. Calculation very easy. Sometimes it's very difficult. Okay, sometimes very difficult. So I told you the structure is a very sensitive molecule. Therefore. We know the body weight. We know that at least 200 to 250 like this. Okay. So when if you don't make the exact relation, 250 gram and 245 gram is same. Okay. 5% to 250 gram and 240 gram to 60 gram is same. Okay. So this is the adult calculation. Okay. One microliter or one gram. Weight. But right side, what we do, 100 milligram per kg rat. Okay, the 100 milligram per 100 gram rat. This 100 milligram we dissolve, here we dissolve one ml, but here we dissolve in 10 ml. 10 ml, 1000 mili, 1000 gram rat. 10 ml means 10,000 microliter. That means 10 microliter per one gram rat. Okay, so my question is, my question is, my question is, here it dissolve, here it dissolve in one ml, right? But here it dissolve in two ml, uh, sorry, 10 ml. Why you dissolve 10 ml? Can you, why you dissolve, why not one ml? Why not ml, 10, why not one ml? Why you are using 10 ml? Yes, online student can give the answer, please. Why? In pups, two day old pups, instead of giving, making solution on a male, we are making 10 ml. What is, the, what is your logic? What is your answer? Please write your answer in chat box so that I can, because the dose is also increase less weight on pups. Yes, Shahid Muhammad Iqbal, you are absolutely right. Absolutely right. Increase dose. No, Shahid Muhammad Iqbal, he told the answer is. Less weight of pass, less weight of pass. Say it is as I told you, weight is seven gram. Weight is seven gram. If it result in one ml, that means seven gram pass, you have to give seven microliter. So it is impossible to give seven microliter. 
because the insulin serine chain, so there's a lot of error. Okay, so I'm the lot of error. Okay, you're giving seven microliter, may it goes very impossible. So if you give seven by 70, uh, seven gram, 70 microliter, okay, if you give 70 microliter, 70 goes 70. Or if, if you get 5% error, it's okay. But if you give the seven microliter, it will be more than 50%. So on this list, success rate will be the less. This is the, the compound, the chemical, selecting the right chemical, dissolve in right buffer, dissolve in right way, and make the right, uh, take the right amount of uh, solution, make the right amount of volume, and with this, give the injection. Then it will be success rate will be more and more good, better. So my question is, same chemical here, 65 milligram in adult rat, 75 milligram in adult rat, 65 milligram in doses, it make type 1 diabetes, and 100 milligram, it is more than the, almost 1.5 fold dose, it is PAPS, type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, no insulin. Type 2 diabetes, mild to moderate insulin. My question, how is it possible? How is it possible? So, meaning they are put and they are in the developing stage of the beta cell, and the all made it possible that all the beta cells may not be destroyed since they are in the developing stage. Yes, Dr. Sabu, you are from? Shipata Mirin. Okay, Mashallah. You are absolutely right. Yes, sir, please. Yes. The metabolic rate of the pump will be very high. So, they might be taking more insulin. No, he's right, sir. He's right. He's right. Okay, see it here. So it is type 1 diabetes in that. This is the dose 65. And okay, this is type 1 diabetes. So what happens in case of adult rat? In case of adult rat, it destroys almost all the beta cells. Okay, almost all beta cells. And you know the Child normally in the, there is a stage, child stage, adult stage, and old stage. In child child days, okay. So in child days, there's a cop apoptosis. Now every day we are facing some apoptosis, cell death. Okay, can anyone tell me that the practical example of cell death? Every day, every day there is cell death. Yes. Normally you can see it in real life. You can see it every day. Cell death. When you make hair style, okay, hair loss, every day hair loss. This is a practical example of, okay. So if hair loss is there, that means your physiology is okay. It is physiological process, hair loss, okay. So in childhood, cell, there is a cell growth, and cell death, there's a balance. In childhood, lots of cell growth, generation, regeneration, death is less. In adult stage, growth and death, balance. Death stage, cell death is more, cell growth is less to none. Okay, same is true in adult death. In adult death, I, I told you, cell, gener cell growth or cell generation or regeneration is almost, almost less to none. This makes, Type 1 diabetes in adult lad, and this one here is a two-day-old pass. If we give this one, this is the this is the historical paper that make the type 2 diabetes response to neonatal eyelid to stop the resin, limited beta cell regeneration and hyperglycemia. Okay, let's see. This is the paper. What they do? They use 90 milligram per kg stop the resin, and 96, uh, 96, 90 milligram per kg And animal we are weighing for two, at, at 24 days is. They give injection at two day old pups. Okay, they give this 90 milligram per kg body weight at two old pups. And what the, this is the. This is the cell cell regeneration 
regeneration refers to the replacement of age cell or damaged cell. What happens to the cellular regeneration as aging? It appears decline with ages. At older ages, regeneration is less. At childhood, regeneration is more. Then child is grow, grow with every day. Child grow every day. Every day. So, so anyone, if my class, you have, you have kids, other side, have kids. Okay. Sometimes, especially the shoes. Eh? If you pass the shoes today, so maybe you pass the good shoes. So it's okay. Size is perfectly okay. After two months or three, one month later, there's a party, you want to wear it, it's not fit. Because every day he's changing. Every day he's changing. Okay. Sometimes, so I saw my son. I, I, have, I have two sons, one is little, one is adult. Younger son. So I saw in Dhaka, I size, I know his size, I know his, I can bring his size by I go purchase on other country. I purchase the shorter sometimes, but after one month when I go to Dhaka, his size is increasing, his size is not perfect. Okay, it happens. Okay, just one month, lot of changes. So in childhood, lot of cell growth is there, cell regeneration is there. Okay, exactly that happened. See it here, if you give, this 90, 80, 90 milligram or 100 milligram per kg body weight, this tryptophan, what happens? Initially, initially, see this one, this one, see this is the, this is the line, this is the control rate, and this is the tryptophan rate, this is the original paper, sorry, this is the original paper, see, dekho. in case of control rate, it is called beta cells per eyelid, is the eyelid hey? in eyelid, there is some beta cell, beta cell, beta cell is there, beta cell is there, beta cell is there, okay? Beta cell is there. They counted how many beta cell is there, it's possible. They found that cell in power beta cell in case of control, so near 60, okay? So near, this is the almost harmony is there, okay? In the, in the ages, weeks, you know, one week, two week, three week, five, up to here. But in case of estoprosorosine, what happens? You are giving estoprosorosine at day two, and that means here, after two days, your number of beta cells per eyelid is, it initially it was 16, now it is 20, but one third losses. So what happens? So as I told you, here regeneration is more and more, more and more. So this 20, it makes double. double. 20 to 40, 40 makes, okay, in this way, so after sometimes initially there is a little, this, this is initially, there is a rapid drop, then it is regain, regain, and again it is almost here. So again, in case of here is 60, here is near 40, initially, initially 20, 20, 20 beta cell per eyelids, so at, Sometimes later, two months or three months later, it will be 60. So initially, see it here. This is the this is the story of beta cell. Now, what is the story of glucose? Initially, this is the control glucose. It is near 100, near 100. But in case of streptococcin, if you give streptococcin after two days, it is 400 because only cell is destroyed. Okay. Then cells are regaining blood glucose is decreasing okay blood glucose is decreasing 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 again blood glucose as i told you this blood glucose is decreasing there is some ability so they are producing insulin producing insulin producing insulin. sometimes the cells are exhausted okay therefore they couldn't here up to their insulin is cannot produce more. here there is a, a rapid increase of insulin after rapid in, in beta cell beta cell increase means more insulin more insulin so after sometimes beta cell this is number is almost constant so therefore here, here initially glucose increase here, okay, and glucose, glucose is decreasing and after sometimes this is the time of six weeks. So that means six weeks to 12 weeks, that means 1.5 month, 1.5 month to three month. So this is the time either they can develop diabetes normally after two, after, uh, after two months. After two months, normally we check their, their blood glucose and if normally they develop mild to moderate diabetes. Yes, sir. What is the question, please? 
So, what is the background? Okay, what is the background? So, to make it, Leonard's stochastic react widely used for type 2 diabetes. Okay, for non obese. Okay. Leonard's stochastic model is one of the best models suited for hydrochemical trials. Because if you make these kind of Leonard's, they develop diabetes mild to moderate. If it is mild to moderate, any phytochemicals, natural products can work better in mild to moderate diabetes rather than diabetic complications. Okay. And this in this N structure model is in the insulin secretory dysfunction that is found in Asian subjects. Okay. This is the two old, as I told you, two double paths. Okay. So remember this thing. If the parents gives at least six paths, use it. If it is less than six, don't use these paths. Okay. So here, Akshala, they grow 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. So this is the paths. What we did here, see, we, we give estrocosorosine, we give 100 milligram per kg. Okay. 100 milligram per kg. And after eight weeks, we measure the blood glucose by glucometer. Okay. We measure the blood glucose by glucometer. And we found some developed diabetes. Okay, many of them developed, not, not all, many of them developed diabetes. So sometimes yesterday someone asked me questions, sir, when we start to experiment. So nine week and then 10 week. In one week, we checked either their sustainability, either they're, they're constant or not. Okay, then those are showing the consistency of blood glucose. Okay, sometimes in glucometer, sometimes. Uh, sometimes glucometer uh, they give sometimes unexpected results. Okay, sometimes. So therefore, you have to be very careful. We, we have to be very careful. So when you confirm this di diabetes, okay, after one or two weeks later, we start normally what we do. So after one or two weeks, we start the experiment. We start the experiment. Let's see what happens first. If we give estrocosorosine. What is the character feature of this diabetic react? Okay. So we developed this model and we tested some chemical compounds. So this is in 2011. So motivation of pancreatic beta cells in neonatally estrocosorosine induced type 2 diabetic reacts. It is me. Okay. So this is the method, how we did it, how we did it. We did two double puffs, freshly dissolved cold cited buffer, the dose of 100 milligram per kg body weight. See okay. here. Then, after eight weeks, estrogen treatment, then we'll check for diabetes. Okay. And they are monitored for next two weeks to observe the consistency of blood glucose level. At 10 to 11 weeks, OZT test was done. Then do we start our experimentation for the plan. So it started. Someone asked me when we start the experiment. You got the clear answer now. Yes. Okay. Yes, online student. So online student, can you hear me clearly? Can you got my point? Thank you. Thank you. Yes, single dose, yes. We call it single dose, yes. Okay, so we normally, what we did, we stop to, you know, we give, we have two different strain in your animal house. One is SD, another is studded. We give and we, we give, the, we check the, their OZDT test, oral glucose tolerance test. Yes, we found, yes, there is some glucose intolerance. Finally, so in OZDT test, 
before doing OGD test, we test blood glu and, uh, glucose level. Glucose normally in human, it is 75 gram. 75 gram, 75 gram oral glucose. But what about the, what about the animal? Normally human will be given 75 gram glucose water. Okay, but here, if you calculate that human weight is 80 kilogram, so 75 kilogram, 75 kilogram, it needs 70 gram. That means one kilogram kilo, one gram. But here, that is, 200 gram, that means 0.2 kilogram. It is 0.2 kilogram. If you calculate it is here, then 0 0.2, 0 0.2 gram. Okay, simple calculation. But no, it is not that case. It's the body weight. It's a body weight. So with, with three different ranges, 1.5 gram per kg, 2, uh, 2 gram per kg, uh, 2.5 gram per kg, and 3.5 gram per kg. We, we check it and we check whose who is doses of glucose give maximum peak. We found that 3 gram glucose, 3 gram glucose, 3 gram glucose, it gives maximum peak the best result. The problem is, so you have to give, you have to feed orally, feed orally, this product, it is to this high amount of glucose is very dissolved, very difficult to dissolve. Therefore, what it did, you dissolve in mild hot water. Okay, then cold, make it cold, then give the remain. So here, this is the figure. This is a this is the control layer. This is the peak. Normally, this is the peak. When you make the diabetic rate here, we see. Normally, we got the peak at 30 minutes. In diabetic, this is initially, this is the 75, blood glucose is 75 milligram per kg. It peak is at 30 minutes. Then at 120 minutes, almost the baseline. But however, in case of diabetes, initially it was 146, mild diabetes. This 146, at 30 minutes, it became, it became, then this one, this one. This value is never ever came to so one thing here, how you can confirm it, just only if you got the peak here and here. If you can this remember this thing, this is a 50. Okay. That means if it is 50, normally we call it <clears throat> three milli mole per liter. One three millimole, how to convert millimole to milligram per DN? Multiply by three into 18. What will be the result? 318 is 56 or 54. 54. So <clears throat> for make it simple, 50. So by seeing it in case of in case of in case of control, the increase is. It is it is 75 plus 54. 75 plus 54. What is the result? 1. Say 130. Okay. Sit here up to here plus 130. That means the increase maximum 3 millimolar in case of control. But in case of diabetes, the increase should be more than 3 millimolar. That means it should be increased more than 54. Exactly. That means if 150, 150 plus 54, 200, say 200 is 200 is air. So it increased more than that. It is from here, sometimes fasting glucose, fasting, only the fasting glucose, sometimes it makes some uh, falsified results. So therefore, if you do OZD test, it may confirm. If you can't do this, this 4.0 minute, 30 minute, 20 minute, 1 minute, at least peak baseline value and peak value. If you measure this one, either it is, we call it glucose intolerance. Either it is type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes, doesn't matter. Type 2 diabetes, normally we call it glucose, in, either it is OZT, in case of pre-diabetes, diabetes, type 1, type 2, everything, there is no insulin, it shows 
glucose intolerance. Okay. See it here. What is the, this is the control rate and this is the diabetic rate. Control rate value is near 75 or 78. Okay. Our diabetic rate, we got it 138. There is increase. Okay. Then what about insulin? At insulin, if you consider the picomole, picomole per liter, it is almost 120. But in case of diabetes, in case of diabetes, it is 50. It's more than half, less than half. Okay. So remember these things: is 80 and 120. That means glucose increases 1.5 fold. But insulin decreases twofold. Wow. Okay. So it is 80 and it is uh, 120. As I told you, insulin by glucose, insulin is 120 and glucose is 80. What is the result? What is the result? Here, uh, insulin is say 40, glucose is 120. So this, this, what is the result? 1.5. And what is the result here? Huh? 0. 0.6. Okay, so insulin to glucose ratio is started found in when we make insulin resistance model or pre-diabetes model. Insulin to glucose ratio is more. If more insulin is there, it cannot utilize the glu glucose. But here, less insulin. That means here, one in control, 1.5 milligram glucose is available. No, sorry, insulin is available. 1.5 picomole insulin is available to utilize one milligram glucose. Here is available 1.5 milligram to metabolize or utilize one milligram glucose. In case of diabetes, 0 0.3, 0 0.3 picomole is available or utilize the same amount of glucose. That means it is 1.5, it is 3. That means five fold less insulin to glucose ratio. So this is one marker of either it is insulin resistance or beta cell dysfunction. Okay, so this is very simple, simple insulin to glucose ratio, so very simple one, but if we do some mathematical model, this mathematical model is already available, HOMA B, HOMA B means beta cell function, or HOMA S means insulin secretion, insulin sensitivity. So in case of control that, HOMA B 100, beta cell function is 120, in case of diabetes, 40. This is a very interesting figure here, okay. They are insulin in case of diabetes, remember this thing. In case of diabetes, the beta cell function is decreasing, okay. But their insulin sensitivity increasing. Beta cell function is decreasing, however, insulin secretion, insulin sensitivity is, is increasing compared to the So this is the history of blood glucose, history of insulin. Then we did some immuno, immunohistochemistry. What happens really, we want to see what happens in the beta cell. We did immunohistochemistry. So it's a very advanced techniques, advanced techniques. Okay, so the beauty of immunohistochemistry is Normally, there is many techniques. Immunohistochemistry, immuno means antigen antibody. Immuno, histo means tissue. Chemistry means chemistry, reaction, reaction. So, so immunohistochemistry, ELISA, and Ostern protein, that principle is the same. But what is the advantage? What is the difference? Say, in Ostern protein, you can see, you can, you can do the experiment, you can see either insulin is present or not present. But immunohistochemistry, in uh, ELISA, or Ostern protein, it's single question, single answer. Yes, no. But 
immunohistochemistry you can do many things single question multiple answer okay either yes no yes priorities priorities question number 2 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 priorities question number 2
Venus, the alpha cell is increasing, goes there, and alpha cell is there also. So alpha cell number is increasing as well as size is increasing. Okay. Number is increasing as well as size. And here, in, in case of type 2 diabetes, so here, see it, this one, there is a random distribution of alpha and beta cell. In control, beta cell is surrounded by alpha cell. But here, random distribution. Here, you see this one, this is no protection. This is it. So, by doing, by measuring only insulin or only glucose, you got a partial picture. Okay, partial picture. This one. But this kind of image, you got a clear picture. Clear picture. The, yes, blood glucose is less, insulin is high, but compared to blood glucose is less, 1.5 fold. But insulin is decreasing more than that. How it? How is possible? This is another good answer. So the left side, this control rate, right side is the diabetic rate. In the left side, see the green is the beta cell. Green is the beta cell and red is the nucleus. See here, this one, this one, very shiny, very light, very sharp. And here at the right side, this insulin, some, some we call it hazy, haziness. Sometimes some cloudy appearance. Sometimes we call it uh, ground glass appearance, cloudy appearance. That means left, normally insulin is decreased, number one. Qual quantity of insulin decrease. Not only quantity, but also quality. Okay, in quality without insensitivity, you cannot put here. In diabetic rate, the quantity as well as the quality compromised. This is our findings. This is our findings. So, in STG model causes diabetes through reduction of beta cells as well as quality degradation of anti beta cells. In STG model, resembles to insulin secretory dysfunction that represent the non obese type 2 diabetes reflecting a majority of diabetic subjects among the Asian subjects. Okay, so first we develop a model that develop that is resembled to insulin secretory dysfunction that is found in our population. Matter model is done. Then what we did with model, you know, this is M you study someone like what is MC. MC means Mamodiga Chandiga. Normally we call it Corolla. Here is also called Corolla. Okay. So it is it is widely used anti-diabetic plant, anti-diabetic materials all over the world. People are taking it. So that's it. When normally we found it, it is extensively studied. When you study the study, it may, if anybody asks me why you are working on it. Because here, the biochemical data is available. Blood glucose is one. Maybe in, 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 insulin level is good. Insulin level. What about the what about the morphology? What about the histology? What about the immunostochemistry? This this is this data is not available. So we studied this one. This is our extent. And what is the morphology? We checked what did happen. If you see it here. We, we checked the different doses, OGDD test. This is diabetes, and this is the positive control. Three different doses, three different doses. It, in, it improved glucose intolerance in the dose dose dependent manner. Okay, this is the fasting blood glucose. The in case of day, we checked, uh, we give 28 days treatment, day one, day 14, day 28. So this is the diabetes. So little to uh, up to 28 days, not very big changes. But in case of in diabetic with Mamundika Charantia, there is a time dependent, time dependent decrease. So it is decrease up to here, eh? up to here. The fasting insulin, in case of fasting insulin, here it's 120 in diabetes 40, but in case of diabetic rats. And day we because blood glucose we measured day one, day 14, and day 28. However, insulin we measured day one and after sacrificing 28, this is a almost moderate increase of insulin. Okay, this HOMA B function we improve the HOMA B, improve the beta cell function. And this is the histology or even histochemistry. You see, this one is the. Control rate. 
middle one is the diabetic rat and lower one is the MCTT rat. So the MCTT rat improve the beta cell, improve the, increase the islet size, but not to the control level in between, in between. So this data reflect by the insulin data as well as this insulin data, homobi data and immunohistamine data. One data support another data. They're all masked. Okay. This is the this is the left side, this is the control, right side, this is the diabetic. As I told you, quality is quality is decreased, but again, once the treatment, it may enhance the quality. So we make calculation that modulation that is quantitative and qualitative improvement of pancreatic beta cells may be involved for anti-diabetic effect of this proof in this diabetic model. Yes, sir. These are being orally or injected? Orally. Most of the, uh, the, the extracts impossible to get in the injection. Impossible. Then another plan we tested is gymnast gymnast history focusing on though we have immunohistochemistry expertise three, uh, using the immunohistochemistry expertise either the some plant normally nowadays the people are looking for regenerative medicine regenerative once you take some medicine so your cell will be regenerated regenerated you will take less to non medicine so with this focus we try to a lot of study okay to the got the regenerative cell. And this is the one a plant we call Gymnema silvestri. Okay. However, so the prevent isolate damage, possibility of beta cell, so possible anti-diabetic mechanism with hypothesis, prevention of islet damage or beta cell regeneration. This is our hypothesis. You see it here. This is the insulin. This is the insulin glucagon. This is the only insulin. When you make insulin glucagon there, you see it here. So in case of Gymnomus silver treated red. So this is left side, insulin and glucagon there. And somewhere only less insulin, almost occupied glucagon. But some cell here, one, two, three cells, we got only insulin cell, no glucagon cell. So it, 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 it is to us, it is surprising data. Okay, normally in islet, alpha cell, beta cell together. But this, we got it very surprising data. We did a lot of study here. And got yes, option one, option one. This is not from islets, so from different cell, from SNS cell or from duct cell, or from other cell, it converted to non beta cell to beta cell. Okay, this is the this is our findings. See it here, it is an SNS cell, an SNS cell. There is no this is these two cells, so some cells are regenerate or new generate. This is our findings. Okay, this is our findings and published on paper. And as you told, the advantage of the, every model has some advantage, and every model has some disadvantage. This advantage is it resemble or mimic the human condition, non obvious condition. What is the drawback of this model? What is the drawback of this model? What is the limitation? Anyone, what is the drawback of this model? Yes, online students. What is the drawback of this model? Okay, any other? Any other? Yes, online student, can you hear me clearly? Yes. What is the limitation of this model? What is the drawback of this model? Anyone here, please, please think. We can use it for diabetes actually. We make diabetes model. Yes. It can. It can. The non obvious. The only problem is time. Okay, because you get, you get two double all puffs, you have to wait for one month. When you get six, Okay, then if you give injection, it takes another three months, two or three months. 
Okay, that means to make a diabetic model, you need at least four months. Okay, the problem is sometimes, okay, in <coughs> sometimes in our experience, we found normally now we do we develop insulin secretory activity of some pure compound. Okay, insulin secretory activity of some pure compound in ex vivo condition. So we submit the paper and sometimes they come, they uh, review, review up some modification, correction. One of the modification we always find. So this is ex vivo data you must do in, sorry, this is ex vivo data you have to do in, in vivo. And after normally the review, after we have to submit the revised manuscript within two months. This is the two months, okay. Then what is the solution? There is no solution. If there is, in, in that cases, we cannot make this model because this model may takes at least three months. Then you have to do our experiment, that is four months. So what is the alternative? There is some alternative. Okay, this is another alternative. Estrepsorosine nicotinamide induced diabetic gas. What is the effect of estrepsorosine? Damage the BTC. And you know what is the what is nicotinamide? Nicotinamide, what is nicotinamide? Anyone can tell me. Cigarette, who told you cigarette? This is not nicotine. This is this is nicotine. In cigarette, there's nicotine. Nicotine is different. Nicotinamide is different. Yes, who told coenzyme? Yes. Vitamin D. What is the role of vitamin B? Okay. So so nicotinamide can be considered as a potent antioxidant capable of protecting the cellular membranes. Okay. It protects it antioxidant. So the idea is, the idea is normally if you give estoptosotacin, if you give estoptosotacin, it destroys the beta cell. Okay, there's oxidative damage. So it will destroy the beta cell. So what the idea is. If we give nicotinamide, okay, and it will be in the system, goes to the beta cell, at least it can ready. So if someone came to destroy, at least it can protect somehow in some extent. Exactly what this we did. We did uh, nicotinamide first, then after 15 minutes or after 20 minutes, we give the in adult that. In that cases, after as I told you, if you give the streptocytosine, after seven days, it develops type 1 diabetes. But if you give streptocytosine along with nicotinamide, okay, as I told you, you try to destroy the, all the beta cell, however, nicotinamide prevent. So it did makes sense. And this is the one way how to make type 2 diabetes in non obese even it is non obese it is not obese okay we did it okay we did two compound here sorry it is busy busy very busy slide we measured their insulin secretion activity they are asking please show your in vivo study in vivo result two different doses what did we did streptocytosine and nicotinamide the combination it makes Type 2 diabetes in adult non obese model. Nicotinamide, okay. So another student, Imran Nazir from Harpur, he okay, also did here how we did it. We did uh, uh, nicotinamide, we give 50 minutes earlier, 50, nicotinamide, we give 120 milligram per kg, per kg body weight, and streptocytosin, we give 60 milligram per kg. So 65 make type 1 diabetes. With 60, it makes type 2 diabetes along with nicotinamide. But you have to give the nicotinamide 
एटलीस्ट फिफ्टी मिनट्स टू थर्टी मिनट्स अर्लियर finally so we discussed how you can develop nicotine how you can develop non obese type 2 diabetes react either in the pass model or in the adult model what is the logic what is the principle okay so genetic model study of genetic model so this is, we we are unable to make it but however so i did my phd in japan so one of my collaborator he gave some very simple idea so just just remove some part portion of the gene it makes diabetes see this is the in, uh, this is the structure of insulin in a chain how many amino acid how many how many 21 in b chain how many 30 there is one disulfide bond here a chain and b chain we call inter chain inter disulfide bond okay here bond here so if there is two two people something two is there there is two bonding is there it is more strong if you if you cut if you cut if you cut one bond here then it will be strong enough but less weaker so what they do they did it is this histine this uh, the disulfide bond between histine to histine By doing molecular biology technology, it possible to replace cysteine to any other. If you replace cysteine, then what happens? Instead of two disulfide bond, there will be one disulfide bond. This is the principle. By using this one, they make this. We call it Akita mouse. By using, they make genetic model, and this is the man. Isumu says this is one of my collaborator. and this is the man abdul hamid my student he also worked there but sometimes we can do it well and good if sometime we can't do it if someone has the specialties you have to collaborate by do is don't try to do everything by yourself impossible so those he, those he or she have already facilities try to make collaboration make a bridge it will benefit for him or her or as well as you okay finally finally as i told you so in case of type 2 diabetes or type 1 diabetes so destruction of beta cell so destruction of beta cell apoptosis of beta cell so if you give streptococcus streptococcus so it many cells are apoptosis so one of our student established this model we are focusing on diabetes model if so so there there be maybe apoptosis if apoptosis model is there Either our compound or extra can prevent apoptosis or not. So this is the control. This top one. This is the control. This is the structural scene. By seeing this one dotted, dotted, dotted line, dot, dotted, we can understand these are the apoptosis cell. However, though we have immunohistochemistry, immuno, we have a good experience on immunohistochemistry. We did immunohistochemistry of beta cell with some apoptosis assay. One assay we call very well known or gold standard assay we call tunnel assay, tunnel assay. So we found in control left side control. Don't know in the, the red is the insulin and green is the apoptosis positive cell. We found in control cell almost none apoptosis. But in case of structural assay we got lots of apoptosis cell. Okay. And yesterday someone asked me, sir, how you how you monitor the dose? that if we normally by doing that we have to fix some doses so what we do normally dekho we develop diabetes diabetes and give the extract three different doses so see here from compound 10 20 40 g this is this is the red one is the diabetes black one is the positive control and this is the three different doses what we do we give these doses diabetic react and check what happens either one hour after one hour what happens after two hours and what happens after three hours Okay, one hour, two hour, three hours. If you consider percent of changes here, zero. So in blood glucose, after one hour, two hour, two hour, there is in case of control, it's for diabetes. But in case of positive control, one hour maximum decrease, two hour, this one two hour, this is three hour. So in the two different doses, decrease similar, very uh, significant way. So this is dose one, dose two, dose three, and dose two and dose three more same. 
So this is the 20 and 40. 20 and 40 dose shows the more or less similar result. So we choose the dose 20. 20 and 40, less the dose better. 20 dose and 40 dose will be similar result. In this way, first in, in chronic experiment or acute experiment, okay, in one day experiment, we check that we get some idea which dose give the better result. Taking this consideration, single doses because not in, in the animal experimental, it must use the minimum dose, minimum animal number one. And if you give more extra, more do, three different doses, it will like it needs you need many reacts, many reacts. Handling reacts, handling animals is not easy. Saying it's it is very difficult. Going to animal house every day, not easy. Because there is no Sunday, no, no holiday. You have to come, you have to give the extra. Okay, somehow you have to manage. It's not easy. So someone who asked me, yesterday we, we one showed the high fat, low strep azotocin. Okay, we used 30 milligram strep in case of low high fat diet. When it's pre-diabetes, we give 30 milligram strep azotocin. It makes diabetes, obese diabetes. So this is the, my first part of this story. So after tea break, tea break is 11.10 or 11.20? 11? 11. 30. So, so now I am asking you regarding that this is the, this is the end of the story of type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, pre-diabetes, insulin resistance, and all. So after break, after tea break, we'll start diabetic completion model. So now I am asking you if you have any questions, comment. Okay, so I can from here or from my Real life experience. If you ask any questions, so next five or ten minutes, I'm ready to give your comment. Yes, online students, online students. If you have any questions, please write in the chat box. Kishore Halada, thank you for joining. Yes, uh, repeat question, please. Okay, my question is, if you have, so next 10 minutes, so if you have any questions or comments regarding development of type one, development of non obese non -obes, Type 2 diabetes, obese type 2 diabetes, pre diabetes, insulin resistance, this kind of, you have any questions, you can ask me. I'll try. If I know the answer, if I if, if it goes to my experience expertise, I'll share. I'll share. Yes, the physical student. Yes, madam, please. Yes. Insulin dependent, insulin independent. It is yes, it is in type in obvious model. This is the this is this is the model, obvious model. So normally we measured, we measured, we measured glute, there's a the glute 2. Yeah? We, we did glute 2 mRNA. Uh, glut two, no, glut four. Glut four mRNA, glut four. We do glut four mRNA as well as glut four immunohistochemistry. Okay, we get some idea. Okay, we we, it, uh, we didn't got the idea that either it is it is inside the periphery, but how we, we got some at least quantity of glut four. 
Yes, madam. So, madam told me glucose insulin. Okay. So, insulin, in, there is two kinds of diabetes, one is insulin dependent diabetes, another is insulin independent. So it is logical or not logical? Initially, the diabetes is called one is insulin dependent diabetes mellitus, another is insulin independent. So later, it, 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 the insulin dependent and insulin non dependent diabetes, diabetes mellitus, Dick Thomas coined by Mr. Bazaar. He was, from, he was I, I, president of IDF, International Diabetes Federation, and he's from India. Later, later, the scientific community in 1997 or 1996, especially the American Diabetic Association, they, they will have a meeting. And they declared that any disease should be nomenclature on the basis of their causes, pathophysiology, not on the basis of treatment. So non-insulin diabetic, non-insulin dependent, insulin dependent diabetes mellitus means type one, one, it needs insulin for their survival. Non-insulin dependent means type two, they are not dependent on insulin. So this nomenclature on the basis of their treatment. Therefore, they declared in 1996 or seven, that means it should be type 1 and type 2. Many people, most of the people agree, but again, as I told you, there is a claim and counter claim. Okay. Many people agree, most of the people agree. But again, some people, they think not all NIDDM will be the type 2. Okay, But it's better to use nowadays type 2, not non insulin dependence, no more. I, no, I did not did it. My collaborator did it. So, receptor, it is in obeys. So, in case of knockout mouse, okay, and there is OBOB, DBDB, there is three kind of model is genetic model. Sometimes obesity model by using chemical, by using chemical, chemical, so we are making non-obese and obese. Same is true in genetic, genetic, genetic mouse. Some OBOB, DBDB, and NOD. Okay, NOD, non-obese. Some genetic model. So in case of obesity receptor, this is two is different. But in case of insulin, insulin secretory dysfunction, if we make the uh, two two the disulfide bond, if we, if we replace one cysteine residue to other residue. It makes insulin efficiency half. It makes non obese diabetes insulin dysfunction model. It's that too. I am not tech dotted. There is no. So, in case of in case of plant test, normally we are focusing on drug discovery. Drug discovery or using the natural compound, natural product. Natural product only effective in type 2 diabetes. For type 1 diabetes, insulin is the only solution. Insulin is the only solution. Yes. <laughs> we, 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 already, we already identified this compound. There's two compounds. One is momotin and chorantin. Okay. Yes. We just make it, we just make, uh, just give high fat diet, only high fat, if you do high fat, high fat diet, the rat become obese and at four and at four months, they develop insulin resistance automatically. automatically. Yes, sir. I got it. I got your question. So, Huma B, there is two two way. There is software. Huma Huma software. Okay, it it, it DOS based. Okay, DOS based. But many languages all work on computer at the Windows base. So, in our Dhaka Center, we have a DOS based DOS based software. But it is difficult to because we are in our laptop it is not possible. Now it is what happens in online. There is a calculator. Just type type it from a calculator. If you put your fasting value, fasting blood glucose value, fasting serum insulin value, but make sure there is a unit, okay? Then it will automatically calculate it. Calculate the HOMA B and HOMA S, option one. Option two, there is a mathematical formula. So the fasting insulin, this formula, established formula. Just put your value there, 
multiply by some factor 22 point something these are either calculate or the value is there put the value you will automatically get, got the value. <coughs> I don't have a question, but I just want to know that in the slides you have mentioned that MC level was using the glycoprose. Along with MC level, GB, what, what is stands for? GB for glycoprose. Glycoprose positive control. You use a positive control. Can you know, help me find the chat box? IT people, come IT people. So if you have any more question, the TV, we can discuss that. I'll give you some time to the online student. Okay. So, yes, online student, do you have any question? Yes, no. We will go for a tea break. Offline student, please, please stay. Online student, do we have any question? No. Okay. So we'll start at 11.50, inshallah. Stay well. Stay fine. Take 50, 50 minutes, uh, 30 minutes rest. Relax. We'll come again at 11.50. Thank you very much. For physical students, please stay. Please. Yes, Bismillah Rabbul Rahim, student, participant now see your application. Yes, online student, can you hear me now? If yes, please write yes. If no, can you hear me clearly? Yes, sir. Okay. Sorry for five minutes late. Okay, now start the last portion of my diabetic complications model. Okay, there is many complications, but here we'll focus on one model, diabetic nephropathy model. Our life, normally, our life is very complicated. Once you are come in the world, your life become complicated. More educated, more complicated. More urban life, more complicated. Okay, our life is complicated. Once you came in the world, sometimes, okay, life complicated. Sometimes people think, okay, if you get married, my life will be easier, it will be more easier, okay? It will be more complex and more complicated. Okay, so then, so life is complicated. So once diabetes, life is more complicated. Yes? If you are alone, life is simple, easy, little complicated. So, I alone. How much Delhi ka laddu hai na? Diabetic nephropathy. Okay. So, diabetic complications. See, diabetic. Why it happens in diabetic complications? In type one diabetes. In type one diabetes, diabetic complications occurs after ten years. Okay, but in type 2 diabetes, in type 2 diabetes, diabetic complication happens when? Anytime. Especially in our, in our subcontinent. Because in type 2 diabetes, so you went to hospital or you have to go to in some other cases and doctor told you, please do the diabetes test. You got the diabetes test and you find it's diabetes. But when your diabetes started, you don't know. Initially, when it started, it started maybe one year earlier, maybe two year earlier, maybe three year earlier, four year earlier. But in case of in case of subcontinent, especially in the Indian subcontinent or Asian countries, people only normally diagnose diabetes at latest stage. Latest stage. That means they have diabetes as well as during their 
during their diagnosed, they still have some complications. This is the other difference. Because in Western country, they have health insurance. Every year, they must do this, this, this test. But here, due to some many policies, people don't not willing to go, not willing to go to the hospital, not willing to do tests by themselves. Okay, we are spending every year. How many students you have mobile phone? All people have mobile phone. All the family has at least four members, at least four mobile phone. But few family has glucometers. Few family has glucometers. Okay, if glucometer is there, it's still paying. Okay. Balance in your mobile is more important than the glucometer. This is the reality. Okay. So, diabetic complications. So, what happens in diabetes? Very simple blood glucose, higher blood glucose. If blood glucose is high, what happens in blood glucose is high? Normally, we call it glycation. Glycation. It's called glycation, is nothing. Glycation is a reaction of glucose and protein. And you know, in our body, there's a hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is there, hemoglobin. And there is a sum in hemoglobin, there is RBC, uh, red blood cell. So in glucose, in normally in hemoglobin, in hemoglobin, there are one, two, three, four, there is normally in normal hemoglobin, there are five molecules of glucose, glucose is attached. This is called SbA1c, glycated hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is attached with glucose molecule. So four to five molecule of glucose attached with hemoglobin. This is called glycated hemoglobin. Sometimes it's called SbA1c. Okay, blood glucose, blood glucose, it's a flash photography. You're taking photograph, you're taking photograph, flash photography, every minute, every minute, every minute it's changing. But SBA1C is a, is, is a continuous video monitoring of three months. So sometimes blood glucose give sometimes not satisfactory data. Sometimes maybe sometimes error, positive, 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 uh, false positive or false negative. And sometimes due to our fasting, due to our fasting, due, due to our food, this. The, uh, this with blood glucose result do, doesn't reflect your true disease condition. Sometimes some smart patients, what they do to make the doctor happy, they make over fasting. Okay, they give the dose, later they adjust the dose. A smart patient. Okay, so, so diabetic complication normally, as I told you, our life is complicated. So in case of diabetes, four molecule in case of control, subject, Four to five molecule of glucose is attached with hemoglobin A1C. That means SB1C. It is a normal range. So if more glucose, more glycated. Okay, more glucose, more glycated. It is non-enzymatic. We call non-enzymatic glycation. So if it is your normal glucose is 100 milligram, then five, five molecule, five molecule SB1C is five. If it is your blood glucose is 200, then more than five. Is 300 more than so there is a linear relationship glucose and glycation. So by seeing the glycation, you can understand the diabetic complications. The marker is glycation number one. So it, it is called early glycation. Okay. So what happens? What happens? So complications start one by one. So it is in blood. It is in blood. Same thing happened in the tissue. In the tissue, there is a, in the tissue. There is a, a tissue is composed of many proteins. Many protein is there. If glycation is more, because the glucose is extracellular as well as in the intercellular. The glucose molecule, the this the glycation in the, in the tissue, in the tissue, there's glycation layer. We call it little by little. This early glycation may form advanced glycation. It may layer, 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 layer. What happens? Inside the blood, inside the blood, layer, 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 glycation. So if the layer is the, if this is the this is the diameter. If the diameter is this one, if the diameter is this one, okay. 
So if inside there is a layer, one layer, layer is initially thin, thin layer, then thicker layer, then what will happen? Inside the diameter will be decreased. So blood will go, some forces, if it is diameter is decreased, the, the force will be reduced. Then it will give back pressure. If it will give the back pressure, it makes more dangerous in case of myocardial infarction, heart disease. Okay. So this kind of this kind of this is the reason how it happens the complication. One is glycation, another is the advanced glycation. This is the marker of marker of glycation. Glycation the increase put in glycation, gradual build up advanced glycation in product. Glycation occurs everywhere, but in faster rate in diabetes. Okay, more faster. Sometimes in 14 times faster in diabetes. 14 times. Okay. Advanced glycation in, in, in product from course linking of proteins after the structure and function of proteins and cellular matrix, basement membrane, basal wall components resulting in complications. Okay. Now you see if there is a glycation, if there is a more glucose, as I told you, diabetic, it will be complications. There is two kinds of complication. One is macrovascular complication, another is microvascular complication. From the name, it is very clear. Macro means big, micro means small. Macro is it is in the heart. If it is heart disease, cardiovascular disease, we call it macrovascular disease. Microvascular disease in microvascular, vascular in the micron. Either it is in the, if it is in the if it's a brain, we call it neuropathy. If it is a kidney, we call it renal disease or, ne or of nephropathy. Take a neuropathy, nephropathy, and if it is eye, we call it retinopathy. So retinopathy, neuropathy, and neuropathy. These are these are three microvascular complications. Microvascular complication and cardiac disease. This is the Macrovascular complications. Okay, the, if you see this structure, this HB1C, I told you, the HB1C, we call it complete video monitoring. So if you see one movie, two or two and a half hour movies, so by seeing one song, trailer, by seeing the trailer, you can you can find only the some, some idea, but it is not a true reflection of that the full picture, the full movie. So trailer or of a scene of a Blood glucose is a trailer of the scene of a movie. But as we can see, it's a complete picture of the movie. If you see it, one zero minute to two, uh, two hours, if you see the complete movie, we can make a good calculation. Yes, what is the end, what is in between the movie, and what is the end of the movie. So as we can see, as I told you, continuous video monitoring. That means it, it monitored your blood glucose level, continuous video, blood glucose monitoring for the last three months. So this HB1C, the hemoglobin half-life is three months. Okay. So it gives the clear picture of blood glucose for the last three months. So by seeing the HB1C, you can understand. So either in the your complications, neuropathy, retinopathy, see it here. This is the, the normal levels up to 6%. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Sit here, almost relative breeze. By seeing the hemoglobin A1C, you can understand your diabetic status of your diabetic complications. So another is so one is HB1C, we called it early glycation. At this one, we call it advanced glycation end product. This is this advanced glycation end product, it is always happening in, in aging. Atherosclerosis, many not only diabetes, diabetic complications, but also other things. One so diabetic nephropathy, diabetic neuropathy, and cataract. Everywhere, this advanced glycation in product is involved. So now we come to the diabetic nephropathy. So the problem in kidney. So diabetic nephropathy is a major reason of complete kidney failure. Okay. Presence of abnormal amount of albumin in urine. Normally, urine, normally the urine, in urine, there is no protein. But in case of diabetes kidney, if uh, diabetic nephropathy happens, what happens in kidney? Normally, kidney, it's, it's a filter filter system. So sometimes it cannot take, cannot take the extra pressure. 
it make cavity completion. Yes, student, just take your pen and paper, take your pen and paper, take and paper. So in case of, right. So if someone has diabetic patients, you are taking metformin 500 in the morning, 500 in the night. That means 500 milligram, 500 mg. That means 100, 1000, 1000 gram, 1000 milligram per, per day. If it is 1000 milligram per day, so then what is the amount of per day? What is the amount of per 30 days? 30 milli, 30 gram per year, 30 multiplied by 30 multiplied by 12. Thirty multiplied by twelve equal to three sixty. Multiply by ten. Three hundred. Three 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 six zero zero. That means normally, if you only single medicine, only single medicine, it's one morning, one night. If you take ten years. That means 3.66 gram. That means 3.6 gram. This is the simple calculation. But with day, your dose will be more. That means see it here point 3.6. That means you are taking five kilogram only single medicine. So only single medicine. I forget other medicine. So any drugs you take it during my metabolism during my courses metabolism as well as excretion. I told you. The drug should be metabolized and should be excreted from our body. So this 18 years, this four kilogram metformin should be excreted from your body by gradual time. So it is a pressure for the kidney. It can't. Therefore, after, after 10 years, diabetic complications. I'm giving one example. You know, normally you are making tea. If you make tea well and good, so you're taking tea in the morning, at a noon time and a night time, it's okay. If if you can, with the, we are making the teas. We are using some strainer. Okay, if you, some family members are, many guests came and you are making too much tea, then your strainer will be normally it will take one years. Then what happens? So you are making more tea. So tea is not coming. Then you will making some pressure. So with the tea strainer, because the diameter here, it's make deform. If it is deformed, some when you make tea, sometimes you are coming tea as well as some leaves of the tea are coming in the tea. Same is true in the kidney. So kidney is filtering. So due to high pressure, so high pressure is because of size here, it is deformed. Sometimes even pressure. So the diameter of the stator sometimes big, sometimes good, sometimes leaves is coming. Then same is true. This microalbumin, the protein, the albumin, initially micro amount of albumin or protein, it came, it passed through kidney, passed through kidney, passed through kidney, and it will urine will get the albumin. So how happens urine? Why and how albumin come to the urine? Take it. Yes, sir. Yes. That the amount of albumin uh, is improper, and uh, thereby the patient, the patient getting the pills and medication. Uh, is it because of the medication that the kidney consumes? No, answer is no. Answer is because of the glucose. So, yes, it is normally it's glucose. Glycation because of because of glycogen. As I tell, tell you, one is glycation. Glucose. One is main problem with the glycation. It is not due to the medicine, but it is normally it is due to the glycation as well as medicine. One more question. Yes. Uh, it seems like a true in case of retinopathy uh, when you talk about that uh, this is true because of the uh, complications as well as because of the medication. But how can we relate this in other cases like uh, retinopathy or neuropathy? It is very simple. This is normally the whole. This is glycation. 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 Glycation and medicine may have some roles also there. Here, predominant role, here, maybe my major role, minor role may be there. Medication is doubling the effect of. Not doubling, it increasing. Okay. We don't know either it's doubling or tripling. 
Okay. So as I told you, to make the diabetic complication in case of type two diabetes, it takes five to ten years. What about in rats? Okay, it takes long time. So what we did, we studied design. So the Uster rat, we give a streptozoticine and nicotinamide. Okay, and untreated for nine months. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine months, right? And we measure the body weight, glucose, and urinary albumin. This is the main marker. This is the main marker for diabetic complication. You see the result? Okay. This is the Worcester rat, 180 to 220 gram. We give S2 to 60 milligram and nicotinamide 120. We give nicotinamide 15 to 30 minutes earlier so that it prevents the direct effect of S2 to sleep. So then we check after seven days, we check the blood glucose. Those develop diabetes, we make them untreated for nine months. After nine months, we check glucose, insulin, S1C, urinary microalbumin, serum and urinary kidney, CCR, even statistics like this one. We check either they've developed diabetic complication or especially we are focusing on diabetic nephropathy. See it here, this is the result. So initially, their body is 220, right? In the nine months, in the black line is the control, uh, 222, it become 300. But in case of diabetic that day by day, day by day, it is decreasing the body weight. Okay, due to the body weight. What about fasting glucose? If you give the injection here, that means at, after seven days, blood glucose is 400. Okay, no, sorry, after one month. One month, 400, there is a, this up to here, to four, up to four months, uh, there is a 400 to 500, then month, uh, month four to month nine, the blood glucose remaining same, almost. But here, the main problem is mortality, which to alert the animal for nine months, it's, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. Only you can do it, there's short with the mortality rate, you can maximum minimize it up to 20%. So there's only way you need a good, the laboratory animal, those are people are working on animal, you need a good personnel so that every day he to he or she can take the rat, good, good bedding should be changes two times. Good food, good mood, even by doing so at this stage, so it's a high amount of glucose, 500, so this is in that cases, insulin is needed sometimes, but we want to make it complicated without insulin, what happens? Okay, so in this model, to make the, make the animal survive, it is a big challenge. Now, see this one, now microbiome albumin, micro urinary albumin, one, one month, two month, three month, in four month, it start increasing, fifth month, it is, it, it, it is, okay, and four months to six months, almost linear increase. Then four months to here, not significant. This is, this data, this data and this data, blood glucose, fasting blood glucose, microalbumin, and you see here, here, decrease of body weight. It is because from your body, protein is excreting, it makes, your body weight less. Now see the individual data at after. So it is here data for every month: blood glucose, body weight, and microalbumin. So, <coughs> so we have a long story how to measure the microalbumin from urine. Okay, so very specific kit is there. Very specific kit is there. So after what happens after nine months? See, blood glucose is 84, 83 here. 400. This is diabetes. This is insulin. Initially it was 0 0.8. Now it is 0.11. That means significant discussion of insulin. Little, little insulin is there. Insulin to glucose ratio, which considered here, it is 0.79. Here, 0.17. That means it is no insulin resistance here. Beta cell function, it control 200 here. That means beta cell is only few, beta cell function is very less. Okay, 
Now, what happened to the SB1C? SB1C. So, this SB1C normally in the red, 5.66. In case of diabetic condition, it is 15. That means three fold higher. Three fold higher. The point here, the SB1C, okay, many people do mistake here. SB, A, 1, C. Hemoglobin glycated with C. Okay, hemoglobin is 1A, 1B, 1C. A is there, B is there, C is there. So only why do you see? Because A and B, this, this one has no direct correlation with blood glucose. Only C has the direct correlation of the blood glucose. And it's a big, it's a big discovery, big discovery even for the diabetes management or diabetes treatment. But the, in case of human, in human SB1C, normally if 1% SB1C, if you can reduce 1% SB1C, it can reduce, you can reduce 33% diabetic complication, microvascular complications. The problem is, so SB1C test should be do in gold standard. Gold, so all the techniques it can do, but not all the tests are gold standard. So they give the result. Sometimes if the, the uh, instrument gives not gold standard, it can, the, uh, the uh, range of 1% higher or 1% less than, it is due to the your glycation or due to the machine, sometimes very difficult to understand because your treatment will be different on the SB1C because therefore, if someone, your parents or someone of your family members want to do SB1, SB1C, SB1C test, Please do the SB1C test in the right lab with the right machine. And those are working on animal. So many people do mistake here. Never, ever. So this hemoglobin A1C, but human hemoglobin, hemoglobin, half life is, half life is three months. For rat, hemoglobin, half, uh, sorry, life span is, uh, hemoglobin life span, not half life, life span. Uh, and for the rat, Hemoglobin life span is three months or less than three months? Less than three months, almost one month. Okay, because red, red blood is thicker. Okay, red blood is thicker. So the hemoglobin A1C, the hemoglobin A1C reagent or kit that is that measure the human SB1C, it may or may not reflect the true reflection of hemoglobin of red. Therefore, therefore. We have our own experience. So initially, when I start experiment the SB1C test, I test in diagnostic center, they give no result. I went to some other hospital, they give result 30. Then I took the sample in uh, some other Dhaka, they give another zero, zero result. Okay, one is I in, in somewhere human in there's a big famous diabetes center of Bakai. They give 33 in my Dhaka, zero. That means something is wrong. 33 is impossible, zero is also impossible. So there means no, we can't do. We can't do the hemoglobin one cities with the hum human kit. Therefore, we process. There is a chemical company. There is a company we call Crystal Chem. They are specifically. They are very specifically made the reagent and chemicals only for red. So we process the kit from them and we get accurate result. So doing the test, sometimes, uh, sometimes doing the test with the human kits, it may make sense or it make no sense. Total urinary volume. Normally, in case of control rate, 7.8 ml. Here, 22. One animal, the urine is, urine is 22. So, so, the professor of Iran, he told me by seeing the red, normally, by seeing the red, I can understand it's weight normally. Okay. So, I, can, I have some idea. I have some idea. And diabetic, that is diabetic complication or not complications. My normally my this assistant. Okay, it, because he don't know that how to do test, but you know, he he can by seeing the only urine volume, he can understand. By seeing the urine volume, he can understand. He can give him some gauges. So this is urinary microbiome. See after here in the control 0 0.1, but here 33. That means 30, 33 and 0 0.1. How many fold? 100,000 fold or 100 fold. What? 33, 33 divided by 0 0.12. What is the fold? Can we calculate? 33 divided by 0 0.12. 
165. That means 160. That means more than 150 fold increase of it makes some it makes sense these complications. Urinary creatinine. Urinary creatinine. So in case of in, in, in case of control, 228 milligram per dl creatinine of urinary creatinine. But in case of in case of diabetes, the urinary creatinine is 24. That means in case of control, your creatinine creatinine going through urine. But in case of diabetes, it creatinine that is not going through the urine. Therefore, it goes to, it goes to blood. Therefore, in diabetic complication, if you measure the urinary creatinine, it in urinary creatinine it increasing. So in urinary creatinine increase means kidney, some, some something wrong with your kidney. Kidney is the marker of kidney function test. Okay. Seram kidney. See, seram kidney, it is point, point 0.29, and here diabetes 0.97. This is another story. So the human kit, human, human serum creatinine range is 0 0.6 to 1.1 like this. So if it is below 0.5, this kit cannot measure. Okay, we give the result less than less than 0 0.5. So if it is less than 0.5 for human, it's okay. It's okay, but for that we need exact value. So therefore, even the kit is not compatible. Machine is not. You have to use the Kit for the day. That's something. CCR, ketinine clearance rate. That means here is 4.33, here point zero. That means ketinine is not clearance. Rate is very low. In, okay. Here we call it TAS, total antioxidant status. In case of diabetic complications, the antioxidant status also significantly reduced. Okay. Then we measure the <coughs> advanced glycation end product in blood. We found 0.36 here, 0.86, but threefold higher in case of advanced glycation. And if you see histology, this is the control, this is the eyelids, this is the eyelids, this is the eyelids. But in case of diabetes, this is the in case of control, this is the eyelids, this is the eyelids, big size. However, here a small size is eyelid is there. See the immunohistochemistry here. This is the beta cell. But here, this is the beta cell. You see, beta cell is disrupted. This disrupted. It's a marker of diabetic complications. You see, this is the control. This is the diabetic. This is the control. This is the control. This is the seat here. In, uh, red one is the insulin. Green one is the glucagon. And blue one is the nucleus. Here, control and this one. And advanced, we only make the advanced glycation in product immunostigmacy. You see, we also put here in control, very less to run glycation. However, in diabetic, it's lots of glycation is there. Okay, lots of glycation is there. And we found one marker, the collagen 4. We also found collagen 4. There's some staining of collagen 4 in case of diabetic complexion model. So then we did postern protein or advanced glycation end product. Here, I, as I told you, there's a, a advanced glycation end product everywhere is there. Okay, as in advanced, we sign. There is a this, is a, this is the band of advanced collection in product, but in case of diabetes, diabetic complication or diabetic nephropathy complication, it takes, it is very thin, very thick band. That means few, four, very thick band of advanced collection in product. That means advanced collection in product is increasing in blood, in circulatory system, as well as in tissue. This is the kidney tissue. Okay. And so this is advanced collection in product means it's a, Total number of glycation, total advanced glycation on product. Then we want to know there is lots of glycation in product and advanced glycation product. So most common is the CML specific. Okay, then we want to know who is who is advanced glycation in product is deposited in the tissue. We found this is the CML. This is the major tissue. This is deposited here. It has a very thin band here, very thick band and very black band. And how it works? Only advanced glycation in product sit. It's gonna see the, its receptor. It, receptor call is raise. Raise means a, a receptor for A's. We found in case of control only one band here. However, in the diabetes, one thick band here. Another we got another another band here. This band is not available here. This is 
this is raised, but this one either it is raised, I see form, maybe it is I form, we don't know. Okay. So this is the conclusion, this diabetic nephropathy model. So this blood glucose is increasing, urinary microalbumin increasing, creatinine increasing, H1C increasing, and A is increasing. Serum insulin decreasing, creatinine in CCR decreasing, task decreasing. Okay. And increase of kidney, advanced collection in, in product increasing, CML increasing, raise increasing, collagen 4 increasing. Okay, these are the things. And one student developed this model, diabetic nephropathy model for her MPL student, Uru's, uh, Dr. Uru. So then with this, taking this advantage, we developed the diabetic nephropathy model. So another student, I involved her to check either some natural, uh, some um, natural products are the effective in this model. And if so, what is the major component of this? Our dietary agents. So we work normally if that if we have a hypothesis that many diabetic complications. So medicine can do something, but your diet is more important. Okay, some diet can prevent glycation, some glycation can accelerate the glycation. So we tested some compound, some this one, this thing, one is darchini, cinnamon, integration activity or some dietary agents and their active constituent. See the cinnamon, agels, and it called amla. Okay. They are extra one of my students, Nur Fatima. Now she became Dr. Nur Fatima. What we did normally here, we, we did the model, we give a step to certain plus liquidinamide, and it developed diabetic complication after nine months. So our experience is that in this nine months, mortality rate is too high. Okay. So we couldn't manage it. Nine months, very difficult to manage this. So then we think and rethink how to overcome this problem. Okay. So the student picked, okay. So some, who are one of, one of our colleagues during doing Japanese, uh, Japanese colleague, they're working on diabetic nutrition model. And by communicating with them, we found that yes, there is some alternative. alternative. So, so Nur what she did. Okay. So in the same rate, same way to prayer. What we give? We give a streptocytosine as well as CFA, a complete fruit adsorbent. Okay, this is also an antioxidant. It makes some defensive system. Okay, so if we give the CFA and streptocytosine, not in a single dose, day one, day eight, and day 15, that means three different doses. Okay, day one, day eight, and day 15. The CFA, 100 microliter, and s 2 30 milligram. If normally, our previous model, s 2 we used 60 milligram. Here, just half the doses. Half the doses, 30 milligram, but not single doses. 30 today, after seven days, another 30. After another 15 days, another 30. Three different doses, if we give this one, after two months, okay, we measure the blood glucose. We measure the blood glucose and we checked microalbumin. Okay, here we found this one and we, at the, in 52 days, 52 mean 52 days, we give some treatment. Treatment and let's see what is the effect. Okay, these are the compound we tested. And one is control group. Another is diabetic diabetic nephropathy group, and another is glyvin clomid group. Then one, two, three, four. Okay, this AG is amino amino guanidine. It is also positive control group. That means we have a diabetic nephropathy, diabetic nephropathy, diabetic nephropathy with three different compound. Three different compound. Okay, three different compound. Say the result. So first, normally we check. This is the control, blood glucose, uh, sorry, HB1C, and this is the HB1C. And we did check, this is EO, this is A, this is the some extracts, some extract with different doses, 250 this one, we checked it and I just checked their effect on HB1C. Okay, see here, 
the characteristics of the model. It is very similar to previous one. Okay, body weight, control rate increasing, diabetic rate, diabetic nephropathy decreasing. This is the blood glucose constant. Here, 0.5, that means only after 15 days, blood glucose increasing and this one, this one. The most important is here, normally at previous model, four months, you see it here. Here, at four months, it is almost very similar, but at five months, it increasing significantly. Yeah, but here, here, it is in 15 days. Okay, so that means five months, we take it. So this is as I told you, think, think, and do things. Initially, to have to because we got that means it's very difficult to sum up the animal. But here we reduce the time. If we can reduce the time, the mortality rate it is less. Okay, something is developing after six months, and same thing is similar thing is doing is developing in fifteen days. Okay, the smart thinking, the smart thinking. So this one. This is the microalbumini, microalbumin point one month and three months and four point five months. Okay, that means the hope. If it is here, the maximum microalbumin, right? Here six months, four months maximum albumin. So if maximum composition happens, you cannot do anything. You have to start work here in this area. Mild to moderate complication at that time. If you work. There is chance. Therefore, we start work, we give treatment here in this area. Okay, and this is the C. This is the some box plot. Okay, so this is the control value, this is the diabetic value, and this is the three different extract. From here, it is blood glucose. See the SB1C. SB1C is four control. In diabetes, it is 13, but in case of treatment, in case of treatment, in case of treatment, it is all value comes to the 9. That means if you can reduce 1% SB1C, you can reduce 33% complications. So in our cases, 13 to 9, we, we reduce 4%. So for safe side, if you make the experimental error of 20%, even experimental error of 50%, again, we are decreasing to, okay. That means we are, we are decreasing 4% of HB1C. Okay, for safe side, say, experimental error, we are decreasing 2%. That means we are at least, we are trying to, we are, we are trying to decrease at least 50% complications. So this is the insulin. Okay, this is the insulin and this is the C. Serum advanced glycation end product. Here, in case of a serum advanced glycation end product, we control very, very, very but, but in case of diabetic nephropathy, its range is very high from here to here, very high range. Okay, but in case of, in case of advanced glycation end product, see it here, in the early glycation, early glycation, early glycation from here to here. 12 to 9. Okay. But in case of advanced glycation in product, very interestingly, very interestingly, here you see the advanced glycation in product. Very advanced glycation in product is very close to the control. It can prevent early glycation as well as reverse. So it slows down the Advanced glycation in product. This is our findings. So, first, making a model important, modify it. Sometimes you have to consider you are doing some model development model, you face many problems. You will face many problems. You will get some, we call it lesson learned. So, by doing this one, you will get lesson. With this, with this, how you to modify the model? Normally, nowadays, you are using 
you, you are using a smartphone, right? A smartphone, right? Samsung or anything. So every six months or every 12 months, there's some upgrade. Okay. Content, it's why it is upgraded because new feature is there. You are facing some problem, you are giving some output there. I'm facing this problem. They take this consideration. There after after six months, after nine months, my mobile is slow. This, 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 this. They take consider improve it. And to overcome this problem, they make it new fashion. Take it up with the same piece. Yes, sir. What is your question? Sir, my uh, question is uh, related to sampling. How did you uh, collect the sampling of uh, your name? Uh, because it's very difficult to get the sample. Uh, yeah, the Answer is very simple. She asked, she, uh, he told me how we collect urine. So, in case of this, this is the problem. So very simple. So in, if you want to collect urine, what will you do? So urine collector, so we call it metabolic cases. If you metabolic, some cases is there, metabolic cases. So urine is sitting somewhere. So all the urine phases come to somewhere. We call, by using metabolic cases, we can, we can collect all the urine. Got it? In case of bedding, uh, can you not disturb the urine because it is absorbed in the bed? No, no, no. In the metabolic cases, metabolic. in metabolic cases, there is no bidding. One more question. Yes. How uh, did you sample, uh, how did you analyze serum ages? Because of normal uh, testing, biochemical testing. No, we, we, we use a uh, allergy test, allergy kit. Thank you. Okay. Uh, question you see, in kidney clearance, okay. Kidney clearance, this is control, and you see, rays, we also did some. Molecular biology of raise, raise activity. So this is the diabetic. Okay, this is the our treatment group. Okay, this is our diabetic. This one, someone different different compound or different different natural product reduce the age in different different degree. So this is also some age and actin. This is with this age. This is diabetic nephropathy model, and with our treatment decrease significantly. Oh, yes, yes. So this is the mechanism we found that yes, how it developed, how it developed, how our product in, in our, our natural compound or natural product, how it works. It works on it, in, it decrease the rays, decrease the A's, decrease the A's. In this way, it, it prevents diabetic complications. So finally, one of few slides. Now my one of my students, so one of the compound, observe, okay, very good compound found. This compound she makes nanoparticle and give. This uh, this nanoparticle give nanoparticle this one and collect the blood and see sometimes compound is good okay if we make nanoparticle nanoparticle give far, the this is the blood glucose the nanoparticle give far far better result far better result and we have also established highlight isolation technique first time in Pakistan from mice we collect the pancreas pancreas we this uh, make extension and make digestion this is the eyelids. With the eyelid, we purified this eyelid. With this purified eyelids, we can test pure compound because using the pure compound to work pure compound with the whole animal, it is very difficult. Compound is very expensive. It takes lots of amount of compound because from purification, our chemist colleague, when you start 20 kilogram, 10 kilogram, ultimately the compound they get milligram or microgram amount of compound. With this compound, it is impossible to do in vivo test. Only possible is either in vitro or ex vivo. Okay, so finally, as I told you, sleep is the best medicine. Sleep is the best medicine for all disease. So same is true for human. For human, same is true for rats. Same is true for your baby. So growth hormone secretion, secretion only done in during sleeping. So nowadays, many babies don't sleep. Okay, if you want to make growth and good growth and development, so uh, the, all the mothers should take care. Hey? Otherwise, you have aging. Okay, food and water. So someone professor asked me what the what is the age of my age of my animal. So if you work on animal house, you know you are normally we working on body weight. But it is better if you make the date of birth. That is, you can get the date of birth as their body weight as well as their age. Food, water is more important. Good food, good good. So it should be during winter season anyway. Bedding is bedding is more important. I think good bed is needed for good sleep. 
Okay, if if something is watery, good bed is very simple. Good bed is needed for the good sleep. Same is true for the rat. And finally, this is before. This is a model. Sometimes you want to exactly model, but sometimes it happens. Sometimes like this, eh? If you give uh, this model too much, McDonald's this one, it will be fatal. Like this one. Sometimes we want the exact model, but sometimes it's not exactly same, but similar, eh? <laughs> it happens, eh? Yeah, this is real life. Okay. Anyway, finally, this is the last slide. This is my students. So all the, I am talking here because all this all credit goes to my students. The initially, 2006 to 2010, I was actively working there, but now I transfer my technology to the students. The students can do experiment better than me. Okay, and I trust them. Okay, so this Ali Raja is very good. Eh? He did develop the three diabetes model, and this Abdul Hamid. Okay, Abdul Hamid is in Aga Khan. Abdul Hamid, one of my past PhD student. He is, uh, he established the eye touching technique. Now it is, but it takes one more than one year. So I sent him Dhaka, he got some training. I sent him in France, he got the training. It takes time, it takes time. There's no shortcut, okay. Now, okay, this is my student, Mr. Khan. He's doing their work and some of the female, this one. These are the, they, they one. To me, so for you, many for, many, for many of you, this is your model. To me, so my model is study C, Dr. Iqbal Chudri. I follow him, I like him very much. He's my model and they, they are my model. I like students very much. I like my students. I love my students. I try to transfer my knowledge, experience, expertise to students. Just with these few words, just uh, last night I talked with, talk with someone in USA. He told me interesting story. You know, in Islam, there is a system of jakat. You know, jakat system, that means you have to give 2.5% of your oil. It's mandatory. He told me one thing, you have to give at over, this is only for, this is for oil. For knowledge, you have to give more. So it is interesting. So at least to, it's for, at least you have to transfer your knowledge to a student, to someone, for the betterment of the human, for the betterment of the for betterment of society, for betterment of the country, and betterment of the Muslim woman. If you don't transfer the knowledge, so it'll be asked for that. With these few words, thank you very much for joining. So hope I try to I try my best to share my experience, expertise to you. Even as I told you, so uh, as I told you, it is not easy. It is a difficult job. However, try to do it. Try to do it. So now distance doesn't matter. Distance doesn't matter. Now with many group, Facebook group, WhatsApp, religious group, just communicate. We come step. We are very happy to we're happy to set up your laboratory as well as we are very happy to, if you need any problem through come step. We can at least try to solve the problem with this few words. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And thank you very much. Yes, online students, thank you very much for joining. Hope. If you have other questions, please write emailing in comments. We'll solve the problem. Thank you very much. Thank you. Stay well. Stay fine. Thank you for joining. Thank you for participation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Um, ladies and gentlemen, all the participants uh, who are here in person and who are joining us online. Uh, thank you very much for your participation, and uh, I hope that this um, workshop was very fruitful and um, and and of a learning experience for you all. Um, on behalf of Comstec and uh, Professor Iqbal Chaudhary, I would like to thank our speaker, uh, Professor Dr. Hafizur Rahman, uh, for his hard work for all these three days and keeping you engaged. Um, and we hope that, sir, we will be able to have um, another workshop in, in Bangladesh as well, inshallah. And some of our participants who are sitting here would be able to join us there as well. Um, with this, uh, I would request um, uh, Professor Dr. Hafizur Rahman to give certificates to our local speak uh, participants who are present here uh, in the room. Um, ma Whereas for the virtual participants who joined us for all the three days they will also receive their certificates e-certificates through their emails um in in span of 10 days from now
So first of all, first we have Dr. Shani Zahra. Miss Shani Zahra. Clapping for everybody. Clap yourself. Rohma, Rohma Mariam. Noshin Akhtar. Nabi, Nabila Anwar. Muhammad Zuhair. Khuda Sarwar. Hafiz Muhammad Mansoor. Ghulam Murtaza, Dr. Aysan Ibrahim, Dr. Yasser Yaqub, Dr. Fawad Bashir, Dr. Damin uh, Abbas Hamdani, Dr. Damin Abbas Hamdani. Anam Chaudhary, Ahsan Misbaul Hadi, Shazi Mehmad, Dr. Aisha Kareem Kayani, Dr. Shafi Kalisha, Dr. Atiyah Rabani, Dr. Hafiz Abdul Rafi, Muhammad Sarfaraz, Sayyid Sabasha, Sayyida Sabasha. Ali Haider, Dr. Rabia Habib, Dr. Rabia Habib, Dr. Anzar Ahmed. Itazaz Yunus, Sidra Munir, Basim Allah Jan, Ambreen Rashid, Uba Khaled. Sidra Aslam, Sheer Aziz, Thank you. I, I hope everybody have received their certificate. Okay. Um, everybody, uh, sir, we will give you a certificate later on. Uh, we don't have it right now. Uh, so we will give it to you later on, inshallah. 
Uh, everybody, please uh, stand on your seat so we can take a group photo here. In the front row, please. Yeah, I mean, 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 I mean